Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I'm here with a new tutorial that is how to print deep tag with grid view to PDF in ASP.NET C Sharp step by step. Previous tutorial was crude operation in ASP.NET C Sharp. Link in the description box below. This is the interface, and these are the data in the grid view. Now I'm gonna print this grid view using deep tag. So first of all, I'm gonna add in a, in a deep tag to print grid view to PDF. Okay. <coughs> so add a deep tag. Deep ID id is uh, deep to print okay add this grid view in this deep tag yes it's added now add run it equal to server to use this deep tag in the cs file okay now with the design yes the deep tag is added and the grid view also in this deep tag okay add a button control Yes, this button control I will use to perform print to print deep tag with grid view and as we are not using C sharp. Okay, event is uh, button ID is button 6, so event is button 6 underscore click event. Okay, now I'm gonna write code to print a deep tag in as we are not with grid view. So response dot content type equal to application PDF then response dot add header equal to oh, first break content type content disposition value value is attachment file name equal to attachment file name file name will be your file name dot pdf you can put your file name here or you can add dynamic file name you must place dot pdf because of it will print as pdf file okay now response dot catch dot set catchability first break http catchability dot no catch and string rider string rider sw equal to new string rider to use string rider you must add using system.io so just click on system using system.io uh, namespace is added now html text writer html text writer hw equal to new html text writer just to use this string writer sw okay this is the string writer sw you can see now deep to print this is the id of the div let's check yes go to the source file yes you can see the deep to print this is the id of this deep tag so deep to print dot render control hw hw is html text writer now document document doc equal to new document add name space or oh, using system dot no First of all, I have to add reference of itextshop.dll to download itextshop.dll. Go to the link in the description box below. So I just downloaded and kept it in the desktop, and I'm gonna add reference. So go to the solution explorer and expand the bin. There is no itextshop.dll. Now add reference of itextshop.dll. So right click on the solution project and click on add reference yes uh, here is itextshop.dll you can browse uh, for itextshop.dll in the desktop select itextshop.dll just click on add yes it's added and selected now just click on ok yes click on ok the itextshop.dll is added now add namespace to use document using itextshop.txt yes 
Let's edit. Now, face size. Put face size. Face size is 50F. Margin left. Face size is F4. 50 margin left. Margin right. Margin top and margin bottom. 50, 50, 30, 30. HTML worker. HTW equal to new HTML worker. Doc. Doc is document. Add name space using itextsharp.text.html.simple fascia okay now pdf writer pdf writer using itextsharp.text.pdf pdf writer.get instance doc and stream os output stream output stream is response.output stream okay now doc.open and string string reader sr equal to new string reader sw sw is string writer string writer dot to string now html worker stw sw dot farsh sr sr is a string reader you can see doc dot close close the document doc dot close then response dot write now write doc okay doc is document response dot end okay now it's done let's uh, go to the view in browser yes now just click on print result oh it be must be placed inside the form tag with run it equal to server okay now go to the cs file and add a method public method public over it void Verify rendering in server form control control. Okay Now reload this page. Yes now print result. Yes, you can open it Other Firefox, okay, okay You can see it's print uh, with the PDF and you can see the grid view data is displaying the PDF file protected item name specification unit Okay, you can resize, zoom in, zoom out, and you can print this PDF file. Now, I'm gonna add uh, header space, header margin, 30F to 100F. Okay, reload this page or reload and click on print result. Open with Firefox. Okay, click on OK. You can see the margin added in the header of this page now you can print this pdf file yes it's printable and resizable okay thanks for watching this tutorial